got a hole in one on the first hole. Oh, first hole! Now it's $15 for 30 minutes of ride time, and it's definitely a workout, but it's a lot of fun. And it's a hot dog with chili, onion, and mustard. One bite, and you'll fall in love. I want to rock and roll all night. And party every day. The party continues tonight till midnight and then starts again tomorrow. I rode around for a little while longer, taking advantage of a beautiful sunny afternoon away from the office. Whee! You might be in the middle of a news report, is that all right? Oh, she wants to sit on my lap. Live from Fox 35 at the Orlando Center, this is Orlando News Now. Welcome to Orlando News Now. I'm your host, John Bustegger. We got a lot of things to talk about today, so I'm going to give... enough so it's black but not black enough to be Tammy Faye Baker. The search for 16-year-old Alexandria Cherie went on for days. Then, on a hot Friday morning near the Osceola and Polk County lines, a gruesome discovery, a decomposed body, female. The body is uh, several feet off the, uh, into the wooded area, and that is where the uh, body was located of a female. The girl's uncle confirmed the news on Instagram. I'm sorry, Orlando. Alex's body was the body that was found. Pray for my family. It was as if they had just disappeared. Jessica McCreary and her baby daughter Penelope hadn't been seen for days, and authorities began to suspect that the two were in danger. Our main focus right now is locating Penelope and Jessica. And McCreary's boyfriend, 46-year-old David Hogarth, wasn't cooperating. David, when asked where they are, makes concerning questions like you'll never find them. What started on a rainy February night in Sanford in 2012 came to a conclusion late Saturday when the jury in the trial of George Zimmerman found the former neighborhood watch commander not guilty in the death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. In the circuit court of the 18th Judicial Circuit in and for Seminole County, Florida, State of Florida versus George Zimmerman, verdict, we the jury find George Zimmerman not guilty. Oh, somebody may kill him. I don't know. He may lose his mind. I'm not saying, but you don't do oh, people any oh, kind of oh, way oh, and oh, think oh. you're going to get away with it. You will not get away. They made the law, stand your ground, self-defense, and they got this one right, but there are no winners. We all got to pray for Florida. I hope he burn him in hell. The death of Trayvon Martin sparked a national conversation on race and guns in America. The acquittal of George Zimmerman will not end that debate and Central Florida is forever changed because of a rainy night in February 2012. 